Hey, travelers. Mm. It's unseasonably warm, and uh, I, Thank I've goodness. lost all Thank the goodness. hair on my face. Troy's lost the hair on his head, but he still has a very beautiful beard. No, you could probably grow the same beard I have in like two weeks. Next week, it'll be a lot different. Yeah, this yeah. is your ability to grow facial hair just <laughs> whistles past all mine. Yeah, if, if I could only do that on it's my like head. It's like if that you had be... a Corvette versus like any crappy car I've ever owned. Say, <laughs> 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 like, yeah, I'm going to race that station wagon. I bet I can win. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, at least I got that going for me. That's one of the very few things I yeah. got going. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, this Beer. this week, it's uh, chocolate-themed or fudge-themed. There is one beer that's not necessarily fudge, but um, it is a very nice beer nonetheless, and I'm, I'm excited to try it. This one I'm also excited to try because I've seen they came out with all of the different variants of KBS this year. So what I'm excited about right now is I think it's it's not overly crazy <clears throat> to say that KBS is probably one of the the OG or founders who makes KBS really set the tone to what a barrel aged beer should taste like. You know, KBS is for the long, longest time there. You had to wait in line. You had to be at the store at the certain time to get it. But now KBS has gone to year round. So my thought was like, well, that kind of sucks. It's a year round. It's not a special thing anymore. And then yeah. they're like, we're coming out with variants. And I'm like, ah, you win me over. There today. you go. Yeah. That's what you got to do now. Yeah, you got, you got crafty. There is a street sweeper being the loudest. You know, here's the odd thing about Eau Claire. Now, I grew up in a very, very small town, yeah. and and we had one street sweeper. I didn't even grew up in a town. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> mine might as well not have been a town. There were stray cows getting out all the time. <laughs> anyway, uh, that street sweeper came came around maybe three, four times a year. Thanks. Street sweepers around Eau Claire. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but then they put straight pipes on them. I'm like, do you need to make it that loud? I don't. And what they come use? around all hours coffee? of the day. Was they call those coffee mufflers? Coffee can yeah. mufflers. Yeah. Did you see when we got snow the other week? They said, "Oh, we just pulled the guys that were supposed to be street sweeping. We pulled them off and put them on the plows. Put them, put them in some plow trucks. Yeah. They were going to be street sweeping otherwise. And I was going, "What are you sweeping off the street? <laughs> don't know, but that's their job, and they're going to do it. Leaves." No nope, fudge time. Now. That's our taxes at work, man. <laughs> Let's get some fudge. What the fudge is what you could maybe say. That's what I'm going to name this episode. What I'm, the fudge? I'm not going to lie to you. This smells great on the nose. It does, and it tastes beautiful. There's just multiple like this. Sometimes you get a beer that has a ton of stuff in it. And you go and smell it, and you just get nothing on the nose. This yeah. one tells you so much. I get bourbon. I get. Like you can get that. You smell the fudge. You can smell the maple. It just. It's. It's. And it's the the Mackinac fudge. So I've never been to Mackinac Island, but <sighs> don't even get me started. Yeah, uh, Mackinac is the city at the northern part of Ma no, the southern part of Mackinac Bridge, and every <coughs> store in Mackinac makes fudge. My dad's from Michigan, so I go to Michigan because we have to go visit my dad's family. And, and he's got to drive the tractor across the bridge. My dad drives the tractor across the Mackinac Bridge every That's year. What you got to do? He's a bridge rider. Yeah. It's a, it's like a cla It's like being a Jedi, but completely useless. I was gonna say it's more like a farmer biker club. You know? <laughs> it really is. They all, get in, they all get in their old tractors and drive over. They they put their uh, their farm jackets on and driving their tractors across. Yeah, they're all part of clubs. You That's know? nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. This beer is. It's really good. It might be perfect, almost. The old wife picked up the espresso one, so we'll have to try that sometime. Mm. To do another coffee episode one New of these variants. days. Variants. I. Also, I have a really old bottle of KBS in my basement. We could always get a new one, an old one. Hey, so, yeah. nice. I just got the one, though. I got oh, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so KBS, you know, the and KBS we should stands for Kentucky Bourbon Stout. <clears throat> so the idea is they take their Kentucky Breakfast Stout. My apologies. Kentucky Breakfast Stout. They take their breakfast stout, coffee stout, and yep. they age it in Kentucky bourbon barrels. Yep. Then they add Mackinac fudge and maple to it. And to get that much sweet flavor without being overpowering – I think is a testament to the brewers at Founders. Yeah, without it being stupid, like sweet, where you just can't drink it. And I think barrel aging now, because even that peppermint beer we had a yep. couple weeks ago, Yep. I think that would have been an overpowering beer if it wouldn't have been for the barrel aging. Yes. And I think we're starting to find ways to balance out barrel aging, because we, we've all had beers that are hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, just Super hot. hot. Yeah. So I think f balancing that out with some chocolate or peppermint or Mackinac fudge is a... Uh, might be a good idea. And and I'm okay. I don't I'm okay if you're just gonna barrel age it and it's gonna be hot and you know it's gonna be hot. You set it on the shelf for a couple of years. That's acceptable. 
I'm okay with that. Yeah, but if you're making, if you're producing something that you want people to drink like now, now, yeah, then yeah, you better figure out how to do you that. Manage that somehow. Yeah. Yep. You know, that heat. Oh, that is awesome. That is a good beer. Definitely worth the four pack price. <sighs> Ooh, this one I'm excited about. I'm legitimately excited. I, I would, excited I for would it. go with the other fudge first. Because that one's going to be sweet. So we're going to need to cut it. This one is... Because it's a prairie bomb. Yeah, old fudge. Oh, that's a great call. Old fudge. And, and maybe maybe I'll be surprised, but usually prairie artisan ales are, are typically a little sweeter. Yeah, I've actually been really wanting to try this beer. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. I actually found you can buy one. Mm. So Woodman's that's had it. One. One. And I was okay with that because I, I think a four pack would have been like thirty bucks. Yeah, I say the old fudge is not a cheap beer. If memory serves me correctly. See this one, I don't get anything on the nose. I hate to tell you, but the nose smells like milk that's nearing expiration, <laughs> which is weird. I don't know, man. After having the KBS, which was so rich in flavor and like nuanced. This seems a little one-dimensional. It's fudge. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't say that it's anything other than that. Yeah, I mean, oh fudge. <coughs> oh fudge. That's it. What's the name of your it's got a, It's got oh a, fudge. it does have a milkiness to it. I would say it's a little bit milkier. <coughs> yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a fair comparison. So maybe the, maybe the lactose was nearing expiration. Sour milk mash. It's not quite sour. No, I mean, no. it didn't. It didn't get that far. I just like the idea of making. No yeah. one's, I'm waiting for <laughs> someone to make a sour milk mash. Yuck! They're like, we made a sour beer. Oh, would you make a goes sour milk? Sour milk. Now yeah, we just put it in there. Yeah. You know what cheap sour? You know what cheap old milk is? It's free. They practically yeah. give it yeah, away. Yeah. Right. It's like they don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> we had to save on this one. Oh fudge! Mm. See once again. Not a bad beer, the fudge. You know, there's, like, so many ways you can enter chocolate into a beer, too. You can put right. it in the mash. You can put cocoa nibs. You can put straight-up chocolate powder. You can get chocolate extract. You can put it in the mash. You can put it in the fermenter. It's it's really uh, kind of the Wild West of introducing chocolate. A lot of times you put that lactose in there just to get that sugar. So that and this, this one's not overly sweet like, like in the past, some of the prairie artisan ones that I've had, I would, especially like the the Christmas bomb. Let's check the ABVs on these guys. I'd be curious to see that. What do we got on this one? Well, that's because we didn't do our homework. Sometimes folks. they don't have them though. Yeah. And that's and I'm thinking that's how we're. Uh, if this uh, oh, eleven percent. That doesn't taste like eleven percent. Eleven percent. This one does not taste eleven percent. No, I say this one almost might be a, a, a quicker drinker than the Mackinac. Well, that one would get you in trouble. Yeah. I mean, if if you one. if you really like that one, that See, one, at least that one tastes yeah, I like feel it's like, nearing I 11%. I feel like with the Mackinac, I would sip that over an hour and be very <clears> delighted, where this, I would just like kind of lose track. Just, just pound it. And you just drink it because it's easy. And then you'd have another one, and then you'd go, wow, <laughs> I'm feeling it. What was what was in that? Hmm. Underwhelming. Yeah, I mean, I think if we would have done the old fudge and then the Mackinac, maybe the KBS would have probably been a better progression. Yeah, went from the more simplistic to the more complex. Well, as Alanis Morissette once said, "You live, you learn." <laughs> is that what she said? I have no idea. Yeah, it's true. Do you even know who Alanis Morissette is? She's a singer of songs. You're correct. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I could not name a song if I had to. Oh my gosh! <laughs> name one. Uh, Jet. Ja- well, do. You- have you ever heard Jagged sad. Jagged Little Pill? She that Did was she, one of her biggest albums. Who does the sad dog song for like they'd be like, I will remember you. Oh, that's uh Sarah McLaughlin. Oh, I got those two yeah. mixed up then. Yeah. <laughs> They're not anything alike. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how I know nothing about music. Yeah. Uh ironic. The song ironic. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Got nothing? Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like rain on your wedding day. It's a free ride when you're already there. It's good advice that you just can't take. No, I have no idea. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Alanis Morissette might watch this. Oh, if she does, she can be angry. Highly unlikely. She's Canadian, and I don't think they get YouTube up there. My family used to be Canadian. Yeah, they used to be, huh? I think I think Alanis is still Canadian. Yeah. yeah. 
She was married. I think she was married to Ryan Reynolds for a while. That's well, a twist off too. Well, it's Yingling. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually excited for this one too. I'm really excited. When I saw that Yingling came go. out came out with a Hershey's chocolate porter, I was like, "How are we gonna get a hold of that?" So, Yingling is the oldest brewery in America, uh, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I should probably have said Cape Founders is from Michigan. Michigan and Prairie uh, Brewing is from Nebraska, Kansas. No, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I knew it was one of those states. Yeah. Yeah. There goes the street sweeper again. Wow. <laughs> He's just doing his job, man. He's just sweeping the street. He'll be uh, by tomorrow. That is my favorite Angry Beavers <laughs> episode is when they try to win the street sweeper from the cereal boxes. It looks like the uh, the old betcha guy. <laughs> or the you betcha or whatever, I, you know. We the, could get that guy on this show. He drinks bush light. Ah, we can do a shitty. We could do a dad's episode with we him. We could do a shitty beer episode. Yeah, we could do a shitty beer episode with right. the betcha guy. Yeah. See if we can. He li- I think he lives in Wisconsin. We could get him. I'll drive. Sure. Right. If I have to drink bush light, I'll do it. I won't be nice about it. Uh, I don't get a lot on those, although... I get just like, although my glass has been tainted, so yeah, I get pure chocolate on the nose. No, so Hershey's is the oldest brewery. Er, Hershey's, Yingling's the oldest brewery. Uh, Hershey's also in Pennsylvania, so I guess this is a pretty natural marriage. They're that would make sense. Central yep. PAers. Uh, Yingling kind of just they're they just, Yingling Lager is just everywhere. That's all they make. Most people get. So it's it's, spo- it's supposed to be moving here to Wisconsin yeah. eventually. I I hear anyway. Yay. Yeah. And start trading people. It's actually a pretty full-bodied porter. It definitely tastes like Yingling Porter. Yeah, I've had Yingling Porter before, and they use that for a base for a lot of their beers. Oh, like really? Black and tan and whatnot. Yeah. So definitely, it's an easy drinker. I think Yingling Porter is a good example of when uh a craft brewery, a lager house decides to make an ale. Yeah. It always has like a nice crisp clean finish to it. And you're like, <laughs> ah, you guys you must be a lager brewery. <clears throat> you guys are always going for that clean finish, which, you know. But that's all right. Yeah, there he goes. We should have waved to him. <laughs> Jesus. Dang it, we missed it. If you guys had less dirty streets. I know. This is really your fault. It yeah, I I I'll take the blame. That's delightful though. It's got just a little chocolate, little Hershey vibe to it. Not, not too strong. But that, strong. that I could see. My aunt wanted to send me a whole twelve pack. Yeah. And I thought, well, that might be an overkill. <laughs> Let's just go with two. Let's start with two. Yeah. And we'll see how we like. I'm not seeing an ABV statement on here, but I can't imagine AB, anything Yingling is making. It's not. Gonna be it's, that. not it's not yeah. too high. This is probably the most drinkable of the three. Like, just. That's an easy. Yeah. Easy drinker. Good conversion beer. If you're trying to, if you have a, my dad has a sweet tooth, so if I would maybe gave him this beer 10 years ago. I could try that one with my stepmom. I highly doubt she'd like it. Uh, uh, her her route is the clearer the beer, the more yellow it is, and then maybe add some tomato juice. Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's also like. And put some olives in it. That's such like a, a, a beer <clears> thing, <throat> a hard to overcome obstacle that beer nerds have is like, Hey, you would like this. Oh, it's dark. It's like don't don't pay attention. Don't to the color. pay attention to the color. Just drink it. Yeah, because if you go for that light, clear, see-through beer, you're gonna get like beer water as opposed right. to getting chocolate or right. like whatever. You know, these these are all beers that you could easily take to anyone. And that know. that was the point that I tried to make. You know, just just try new things. You always keep telling me. I just put my mom. I just put whenever I try my mama beer, I put it in a glass that you can't see in, <laughs> like a mug. Does she look in it and then I go? Nope, no. just just drink it. Because if she sees the color, then instantly judges the shit out of it. Right. Another airplane. Yeah. We're just a busy area. The north side. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> we lived in such a. We live on just, the planets, man. I guess. <laughs> this is the place to be. <laughs> Got airplanes and street sweepers. Yeah, it, sometimes we have an audience out here too, by the way. And we have neighbors on either side of us that, that watch us do this and yeah. then uh, make fun of us while we're doing it. Um, but it's fun, you know. Yeah, yeah, I think I think so. They also don't watch the show. Yeah, but well, watch the show, folks. Watch the show. No, this is uh, a beer though. I'd give yeah. 
I mean, Yingling, I would say I, I don't hold, I don't give them a whole lot of, I don't, I, I don't know how to phrase this, but I, whenever they make their weird one-off type stuff, I'm always like, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. A little skeptical. Yeah, yeah. a little on the, eh. So I would say for their kind of weird weird ball one-offs, this is a home run for Yingling. I think it's great. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the hype behind it was legitimate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even realize there was hype behind it. Oh, yeah. You bet. There is all kinds of I'm social put social media buzz about it. Twenty one plus to enjoy because it has Hershey's in it, so I'm sure that was a big yes. Thing. Well, you know, you put a candy bar on the front. No, you put a candy bar in it. Kids get hungry. Yeah, you when they're shopping in the liquor store. Yeah, yeah. My kid has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are all great dessert beers. At the end of the day. Yeah, and, and not drink. overly sugared, which is I I will almost always rather drink my. What's that, Beth? It's getting really dark. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's what happens when you lose an hour. Yeah. Uh, anyway. It's six in the morning <clears throat> now. Right. You can hit that uh, button that I told you not to hit. That'll probably help you. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> sometimes it helps. That's also such a husband and wife descriptor. Isn't it? Hit the button I told you never to hit. That's essential. It was kind of one of those Guardians of the Galaxies thing, uh, you know, where, where, you know, Groot, don't hit the death button. Yeah. Yeah. Groot hit the, uh, yeah. I was going to say, it's like uh, when Agent K meets Agent J in Men in Black, and he's like, never touch the red button. Right. And you remember like, that button I told you to never push? Hit, hit it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you're Agent J. You're Will Smith. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, I know. Tommy Lee Jones in the scenario. Hey. All right. Uh, anyway, so if you want to watch us lose our hair, we actually posted a video today. <laughs> Uh, I sped it up, though, so you don't have to go through all the really super boring okay. parts. You can see me with a Fu Manchu. <laughs> I actually wish that I would have left it, but I wanted to follow through with what I promised yeah. to do. If so, you want to see Beth shear me like a sheep. Yeah, it was great. It was pretty glorious. Uh, we had we had some people comment already that, that was uh, somewhat satisfying to watch yeah, you be I've, sheared. I've, it was satisfying to sit there and have it happen to me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next week, I hope to uh, to be where Troy is beard wise. <laughs> he probably will. Be. <laughs> <laughs> Highly unlikely. However, I am not going to shave my beard until next year, sometime yeah. uh, after my birthday in April, at least. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be super long yeah. by I can, then. I can promise you, I'm not growing an afro anytime soon. Yeah, I bet not. No. Uh, we also have a full episode that's coming out very soon. Uh, Lion's Tales ready. Um, of course, uh, the little caveat with that episode is they haven't opened their tap room since March. Yeah. So you're gonna get to see their you're gonna get to see their tap room and all the glorious things inside. Cannot visit. And you won't be able to visit other than getting to go. I think you can go inside and get oh, to go beer. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I mean, this, the episode was shot before COVID. To be uh, fair. True. And we so had no. Just we had, yep. Be gentle. Yes. You know. Uh, you know. but it is something to get excited for when you can go out again. Yeah. Um, they make great beer. Yes, yes, they do, and they they have some fantastic beers coming up. Actually, I think this weekend, if you can get a hold of them, they have a bunch of uh, crazy beers. I think I think they said fourteen different beers, something like that. I might be off on the number. Uh, so if if you're in the uh, Nina area, go go and hit that up, or if you can get there. Super quick. Otherwise, in the meantime, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Oh, uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe to us if you Get haven't already. And Absolutely. Twitter machines. Yes, thank uh, you, Troy. All that good stuff. I've been tweeting lately. It's it's been weird. Tweeting. Not about politics even. So, huh? anyway. All dick jokes. Uh, yes, <laughs> bunch of them. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, hopefully have decent weather next week. And, uh, Who knows? We're just gonna yeah. keep rolling these dices. We'll have we'll have another vlog regardless whether we're outside or inside or wherever the hell we are. So we'll maybe, see you next week, maybe everybody. We'll do the vlog from the street sweeper. We'll do the vlog from the street sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hope everybody's well. We'll see you next week. Prost. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>